Hi, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Precipitation, more of it. Looks like it. Series of Pacific storms could affect Southern California during the holiday period. We're here to talk about those details. If you plan on recreating in the mountains or traveling through the mountains, keep in mind to bring chains. Check quick map from Caltrans. But roadways will be wet at times and snow in the mountains. This is Alex Tardy, National Weather Service, San Diego. Let's talk about the recent storm. We had some big rainfall totals. We were aware that up to seven inches of rain occurred in Lytle Creek on the San Bernardino Mountain coastal slopes. Some of this rain was record breaking in our urban areas. Take a look at these locations, all breaking 24 hour daily record rainfall totals. So that one and a half to two inches of rain did occur most areas. We had some impacts, unfortunately, mud and debris flow in Silverado Canyon off the bonfire shown here. Up in Silverado Canyon, the mud and debris covered roadways and even spilled down across San Diego Canyon as shown here. Fortunately, no one was reported injured or hurt. We also had mud and debris flows up on El Dorado Apple Scar, including Highway 38 and in Noble Canyon that feeds into Beaumont. The Santa Margarita River had a sharp rise up almost to nine feet as shown here. The San Diego River, well, yeah, it topped up to 9.4 feet and the tributaries in the Mission Valley area as well as Escondido and San Marcos area had significant standing and moving water because of just too much rain at once. Here's a look at the rainfall across the area. Check out your location. Again, widespread one to two inches of rain with three to six inches across the coastal slopes as shown here on automated rain gauges. Is this unusual? Half inch to an inch of rain in 60 minutes? Well, it is a five to 10 year return interval for our part of the world. Across California, this is what it looks like the past week. Sierra Nevada region exceeding 10 inches of water. Southern California shown here, not as much, but still three to six inches across our mountains. The snowfall added up. Snowfall went from just a few inches in the Lake Tahoe area at 7,500 feet to over 60 inches on the ground. Southern California had some snow too. Take a look at the San Bernardino Mountains as shown here near Ontario. About a foot of snow occurred up in Green Valley Lake. Ski resorts reported even more, eight to 10 at Snow Summit Bear Mountain and Snow Valley Resort, 16 to 20 inches of snow. Some snowfall occurred all the way down to 3,500, 4,000 foot elevation. How are we doing? Well, because of this storm and the wet October, Northern California is much above average. Southern California, well, we're right now about average precipitation here in Southern California. Some areas in green are actually above average across coastal and the western San Bernardino Mountains as shown here in green. But overall, major improvements to get us back on track. The reservoirs, however, are much below average where they should be this time of the year, especially in Northern California. But progress continues as the percentages continue to climb upwards with the recent heavy rain. The drought improvements are starting. Keep in mind, drought is accumulative impacts of six months, 12 months, and even a couple of years sometimes. So we don't go into drought rapidly, and we don't go out of drought rapidly, but improvements are notable in Northern California and expect these improvements to continue. We had too much wind across Southern California with a recent storm on December 14th, as shown here, trees, were the result of these high winds falling over, landing on homes and vehicles as shown here. Here are some of the biggest wind gusts, Mount Laguna, Silverwood Lake up in the San Bernardino Mountains, 
wind gusts over 80 miles per hour were clocked. Even in Camp Pendleton, K Springs, 72 miles per hour. Here is a look on a map of where those winds occurred. San Diego Mountains, 70 mile per hour wind gusts. Coastal areas, 40 to 50 miles per hour. Same for Inland Empire, Orange County, San Bernardino Mountains. Winds were, most areas, 40 to 50 miles per hour, with some of those big 80 plus wind gusts occurring in the San Gabriels and San Bernardino Mountains. So what's the weather pattern? Well, right now a weak storm system moved through Southern California. Here we are on Friday with Santa Ana winds in its wake, but the door is open for more storms following that red line. In fact, a storm system looks like it's gonna park across the Eastern Pacific, California coast early next week. It'll mostly impact central Northern California with significant additional precipitation, rain and snow. Looks like for us in Southern California. Why more storms? Well, it looks like the weather pattern gets active near Christmas Eve, carving the jet stream, not just central California, but potentially into Southern California and lingering across the same general region of California, even after Christmas, active weather pattern. Which computer model will be right? Well, no one really knows, but the bottom line is computer models of all different types from different countries predicting a stormy weather pattern across the California coast on Christmas Eve. The European weather pattern is showing here, this model predicting a Christmas Eve storm as well. You see those tight lines? Well, that is the strong wind speed and energy that will also tap into tropical moisture, the ingredients like we saw on Tuesday to bring heavy rain even to Southern California. However, another storm system will bring additional precipitation and it looks like after Wednesday, where we see light precipitation, heavier amounts are expected on Friday as shown here. The precipitation across the state could be significant. Here is just the period Christmas Eve as shown for Southern California. The latest outlook for the period December 23rd through 27th, so just before and after Christmas, Calls for just that, wet across the entire west as shown here. Temperatures near normal Southern California and cooler than average in the Pacific Northwest. But the main screaming message here is the active weather pattern potential during the holiday. The outlook for this period as shown here calls for cool conditions across the Pacific Northwest but mild wet conditions in Southern California right through December. In fact, all the computer models that are brought together are indicating the same active weather pattern coming from the tropics going right up into California as shown here. Potential for big atmospheric river? Well, there is the potential as you go out from Christmas Eve into Christmas week. The summary, it looks like Santa Ana winds will weaken, but they are in place today as we do this recording. Light precipitation is expected on that first storm system, the 21st Tuesday night into the 22nd on Wednesday. However, much stronger cold Pacific storm could phase into an atmospheric river. So it could tap into tropical moisture for Christmas Eve. This weather pattern in the Pacific could continue even after Christmas active wet weather pattern for our region.